What's going on guys? I wanted to make a video showing you my physical Assassin's Creed collection. I think it's really cool collecting and owning physical video games, especially if it's a game that you like. You get to see the artwork, the disc, you can store it, like you can see my PS4 games behind me. For this video, I'll go through each game, tell you how I got it, what I like about it, show you the artwork, all that stuff. And I even have a couple of pieces of Assassin's Creed stuff that's not physical games. I'll go over those at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around for that. I got my uh, stack of games right here, so let's get into it. Alright, so first up on my list is the only PlayStation 3 game in this collection, and actually the only PlayStation 3 game that I've ever owned, because I had a Wii during that time, but it's the original Assassin's Creed. We get the Greatest Hits edition up here. I actually picked this game up last week at a uh, retro gaming store that's near my house. I paid $10 for it. Um, and it's been pretty cool to look at, one, because, like I said, I've never had a PS3 game before, but just because this is the original game in the series that started it all. I'm not sure if you can really see here, but we have a uh, some wording right here that says, Open World Gameplay lets you decide how and when to achieve objectives, and then over here I saw Crowd Reacts to your every move. I, I thought those were cool because I think that's some stuff that we uh, really take for granted when this was a selling point of uh, the earlier game. I, I was surprised when I got the game. I opened it up to see the uh, Modern Warfare 2 book in here. So I'll have to get maybe an Assassin's Creed one online to match, but I thought that was pretty funny. Here's the disc. Everything looked good. Just a clean copy, so I'm really glad I was able to pick this up. I've never played the game. Supposedly they're remastering it for PlayStation 4, um, and I'll look forward to playing it when that comes out, because, like I said, I don't have a PS3, but this was really cool to add to my collection. I'm just going to grab the next game from my stack over here. Getting into the PS4 games, this is Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection. This disc includes three games, which you can see on the back, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Assassin's Creed Revelations, which are the three next games in the series. So while I, while I say I have every disc, uh, or every game on disc as a physical copy. This one's more of a remastered bundle, which was still actually done really well. I've had the chance to play and complete Assassin's Creed 2, which I really liked. I started Brotherhood, and then I didn't finish it, and then I didn't even get to Revelation. So I'm sure I will at some point, but just a really clean remastered copy of a lot of people's favorite games from the series. Up next on my list... It's another remastered copy. This one is Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. It does include Assassin's Creed Liberation, which was the DLC for this game. Kind of like a spin-off uh, title that some people consider it. Um, this game was okay. It was the second Assassin's Creed I played. I really wasn't that big a fan of it because um, I played it shortly after Black Flag, as I love Black Flag, which is actually the next game we're going to go over here. Um... And I knew it continued the Kenway storyline, but um, even being from the New England area, this game really didn't do it for me. I know a lot of people like it, and I'll probably get a lot of hate for that, but, you know, the world was cool. It was cool uh, traveling around Boston, but I don't know. This game felt like it was missing something. I still, uh, I can understand why people like it, but just not my favorite game in the series. So up next is the one that we were waiting for, my favorite game in the series, one of my favorite games of all time. It's uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I got the GameStop edition here, just the copy that I was able to pick up um, from the used game section at GameStop. I originally played it on PlayStation 4. My friend uh, had it downloaded onto his uh, PlayStation, so I completed the whole game. Um, but then when I got this disc, I had to restart a file on my PS5. So it's actually been cool to get back in there and do it all again. And I'm happy I have this physical copy of it now. Because like I said, it's one of my favorite games in the series. Um, this one came with a bunch of like GameStop extras. You know, we got the right uh, book in here this time. Just a really clean copy that I really am excited. I keep all my receipts in there in case you haven't noticed. But um, I was really happy to add this one to my collection just because how much I love the game. Uh, which you can see on my channel. I use Assassin's Creed Black Flag stuff a lot. Up next, we're going to continue to go in order here in the Assassin's Creed series. This one is Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered. 
another title that Ubisoft remastered from the Assassin's Creed franchise. Uh, this game I haven't gotten a chance to play. Um, so far, aside from Assassin's Creed and the two in the Ezio collection, this is one of the few that I haven't played. But I did pick it up because of how unique the story is and how similar the gameplay is to Black Flag. I do want to try it at some point. I'm not sure if I'll ever get around to completing it, just because it's not really that much of an important game in the franchise from what I've heard and what I've seen, but I think it's definitely worth a try. I was happy to get my hands on the remastered version. Um, this was a brand new copy, so definitely a nice one, but yeah, the whole uh, thing about this game is that you are able to play as a Templar. That was all I needed to hear until I... Uh, determined I wanted to add this to my collection. Up next, it seems like I didn't even realize this one was the limited edition, but another uh, kind of alternate cover for Assassin's Creed Unity, which is the next game in the series. This game actually came out the same time as Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, from my understanding, Unity was for the people who were able to get their hands on like an Xbox One or a uh, PS4 at the time. We're talking like 2013 or 2014, and Rogue was actually made for the older generation. But they came out at the same time. This game, uh, again, from what I understand, I've only played a little bit of Unity, just um, because I've heard the parkour is great, but um, had a rough launch, but it's really refined now, and people within the community actually really like it. So I think that's kind of cool. I don't think we've seen that in another game where it's, you know, aged like fine wine. Um little bit of the artwork in here some codes that are probably expired or used this game takes place in france and um like i said it's really known for being the most fluid parkour system in the series and there are a couple of key features um kind of like how you jump off walls and some combos that you can do that i'm really not sure why ubisoft would have done away people say we've aged backwards in parkour um but if you want to give that a try uh, Unity, I think, is definitely worth it. Another limited edition cover here. This one I just picked up is the uh, at the same time as Assassin's Creed on the PlayStation 3 because they were the only two games I didn't have. But this is Assassin's Creed Syndicate, kind of the last old-style Assassin's Creed game following Unity before we get into the next couple of games. Uh, this game takes place in London, the uh, Victorian era, as they call it. Um, some of the artwork looks really cool. I haven't heard great things about this game, and that's kind of why Ubisoft changed up the uh, Assassin's Creed formula. So I'm not sure if I'll ever get around to playing it, unless I wanted to see the maps. Um, you play as Jacob and Evie. So, just a cool copy I wanted to have to uh, complete my Assassin's Creed physical collection. Now we're going to get into kind of present-day Assassin's Creed, we can call it. Assassin's Creed Origins came out 2017, yep. And uh, takes place in ancient Egypt. One of the better-looking maps, in my opinion. Um, I was really happy. My buddy got this for me for my birthday, kind of when I was getting into Assassin's Creed. So I played it early on uh, compared to all these other games. But I was really happy with the story and the difference. This one didn't come with the book. Um, I was happy with, you know, how they changed the formula how they changed the combat, how they made it more of an RPG. And uh, this game was big, but it wasn't as big as uh, some of the other games I'm about to show you. But Bayek's a really cool assassin, and Ancient Egypt is just so cool and perfect for this franchise, in my opinion. Here we got Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, very similar to Origins, in my opinion, from what I've seen. I actually have this uh, physical copy here with a disc... Uh, doesn't work. It's a little scratched up, so I'll have to take it. The uh, the gaming store I talked about earlier, they do a uh, $4 disc cleaning, which actually works. I've done it to a couple of games, so I'll have to bring this one so I can play it a little bit more. Um, my brother played it. I know he really liked it. Um, and if you're into you know Greek and Roman history, this is definitely something you should be interested in. But just from what I've heard, a really, really long and massive game which we started to see with these uh, later Assassin's Creed titles, but still really cool, just like a lot of these other games are, to kind of, you know, see the open world. It's what Assassin's Creed is known for, and kind of, you know, decide if you want to play it or not. But 
Um, I, again, I think it's cool to own, as is all these other games. So, Odyssey was my last PS4 game. Up next, we got Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which did come out on the PS4 and the PS5, but um, this was one of the first games I got on the PlayStation 5. It was another gift um, from my girlfriend this time, who apparently doesn't even, re- doesn't even remember giving it to me. Um, but, I mean... You, you want to talk about large open world games you can't leave out Assassin's Creed Valhalla I really liked the game but there were plenty of times where either the story got repetitive or it could have ended because the beginning of the game was really good and the ending of the game was really good but there was a lot of middle stuff that was just so repetitive as you can see we got the uh, alternate cover in here I didn't even know that was in there because uh, Eivor you play as uh, just like in Odyssey, you get to pick which protagonist you want to play as. So in Valhalla, you get to pick if you want to be uh, male Avor or female Avor. So I didn't even know that was there. That's really neat. I'm glad they put that in there. Um, but it's a really beautiful game. The uh, Norway, England, all the Norse mythology stuff is done really well. If that's what you're into and. Even if you're not, I mean, traveling to some of these mythological worlds in this game is just really breathtaking. Um, I think they did a good job. My only complaint would just be too long. Last but not least, we have the new game. Just came out a couple weeks ago, Assassin's Creed Mirage. As you can see, I have the deluxe edition here. Uh, Not necessarily by choice. I got to GameStop and they only had the deluxe edition. So I ended up paying uh, $60 for this instead of the $50 for the, you know, the regular version. But still a cool cover, so nothing to complain about there. And it came with uh, a bunch of codes that I've already used. The, uh, the artwork and the whole theming for this game is really well done. I'm about 10 hours into it. I've put up a couple videos on my channel already that I'll uh, list here at the top right now and maybe at the end of the video. But... Um, I was glad to finally get another PS5 Assassin's Creed game. I know we can expect more soon in the future, but um, from what I've played so far, it's on, you know, very similar to Valhalla, even though this game came out three years later. But it's it's really fun. Baghdad's such a cool city. I like the smaller map, how they've really dialed it down a little bit, um, which makes sense after three generally big games, but... Um, I'm going to move this over here. That's it for my uh, physical game collection. So let me show you some of the other Assassin's Creed stuff I have. So here's a couple pieces of uh, my other Assassin's Creed collections. As you can see, I have an Assassin's Creed Black Flag art book here. Um, this thing's really cool. I think I only got it for $10 on eBay. If you've never had a, uh, a video game art book before, I definitely recommend it, especially one of your favorite game. I mean, it's just really cool to open up and kind of go through some of the artwork that, you know, the creators were able to uh, make and sketch up. This one has a lot of ships, a lot of the maps, a lot of the characters, a lot of the outfits, which is typical for art books. But it's just really cool to have. Um, Like I said, Black Flag is just my favorite game. One of my favorite games of all time. So it's just really cool to see all the pirate designs here. Behind the book was one of my favorite, really, you know, pieces of Assassin's Creed collectibles, but this isn't even a collectible because you can't get this anywhere. This is a handmade, uh, I guess, scaled down version of the Jackdaw, which is the ship that you you sail on in the game. And it was hand painted, given to me as a gift from my girlfriend. She painted the sails red and white, as that's what I use in the game put the uh, Assassin's Creed logos on there and it sits on top of my desk and it's just really cool to look at um, knowing how much time she spent on it and that it's really personal to me considering how much I like the game. Up next I have this Assassin's Creed Mirage Game Informer GameStop uh, magazine that I got while I was there buying the game just because of how cool the uh, cover was. I have some like uh, magazine protectors and holders that I'll be able to put this in to display it all nice. Uh, It was only $6, and just looking at it at first glance, I mean, there's some cool artwork in here that goes into detail about how they made the game, about Bassum, how they kind of dialed it down to a smaller scale game, and 
the roots of Assassin's Creed, so it was really cool to read, uh, read about the characters, some of the backstory, um, and just more information about Baghdad in general. So I'm actually really happy that I got this. Again, my girlfriend convinced me to get it. She was like, you need that. I'm like, all right. Um, and that gets into a ge uh, general Assassin's Creed history. So this magazine was really cool. I'm glad I got it and uh, added it to the collection. Last but not least, I have a couple of uh, hand-painted pieces of scrap wood here. Uh, once again, my girlfriend was able to uh, kind of fill up my wall space a little bit. This is behind my PlayStation 5. On the left, you can see... Uh, Silhouette style of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's Kenway. Uh, you know, you see him jumping off a ship right there. In the middle, that's actually Horizon Zero Dawn, which is another series that I really like. Um, and on the right, you see Bayek of Siwa with the uh, Egyptian pyramids in his silhouette. So a couple cool pieces that just really complete kind of my desk and setup area. That's going to be it for the video. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you like this type of video. And uh, comment below what you liked, what you didn't like, if you want to see another collection video in the future. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.